Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 edition. Page 413. Blood-Brain Barrier. What is the importance of the blood-brain barrier? The importance of blood-brain barrier is to prevent circulating blood substances from reaching the cerebrospinal fluid and the CNS. What are the three structures that form the blood-brain barrier? The blood-brain barrier is formed by tight junctions between non-fenestrated capillary endothelial cells, basement membrane, and astrocyte foot processes. How does glucose and amino acid cross the blood-brain barrier? Glucose and amino acid cross slowly by carrier-mediated transport mechanism. How does the nonpolar lipid-soluble substance cross the blood-brain barrier? Nonpolar lipid-soluble substance crossed rapidly via diffusion. What are some of the areas of the brain that have fenestrated capillaries and no blood-brain barrier that allows molecules in the blood to affect the brain function? The area of the brain that has fenestrated capillaries and no blood-brain barrier are area postrema that will cause vomiting after chemo and OVLT which is for osmotic sensing and OVLT stands for organum vasculosum of the lamina terminalis. What is an area of the brain that has fenestrated capillaries and no blood-brain barrier so it will allow neurosecretory products to enter the circulation? The area with fenestrated capillaries and no blood-brain barrier that will allow neurosecretory products to enter circulation is the neurohypophysis so it allows ADH release into the blood. What are some of the other type of barriers in the body? Some of the other type of barriers in the body includes the blood testes barrier and the maternal fetal blood barrier of the placenta. What causes the formation of vasogenic edema? Vasogenic edema can happen if there is an infarction and or a neoplasm that destroys endothelial cell tight junctions. What permeates the blood-brain barrier freely? Hypothalamic inputs and output permeate the blood-brain barrier. One additional important fact about the blood-brain barrier is that it helps prevent bacterial infection from spreading into the CNS as well as it also restricts drug delivery to the brain. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.